Uh, uh, uh. Ah, a bit of luck next time. Boom, 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 boom. This hangar is so far away. My goodness. And none of these containers have respawned, which means that add-on is almost definitely bugged again. Okay, we're doing building. Building. Man, the um, build zone is actually not as big as I thought it was. <laughs> I might be screwed. What is this? 13, 13 wide. Okay, I need something for the lab. The size of the ARV is going to determine the size of everything here. 13 across and 34 long. I'm going to do a floor plan. A floor plan. So let's drop down below this a little bit. So 34, right? I need, what I want is this thing to be wide enough that the ARV can drive in and turn around inside. Which means I need at least probably like 34 plus. It's got rear wheel steering, so it can turn quite tightly. Oh, what if I just did... 34 each way yeah that makes sense that's what it is it's just one in the middle plus 34 you should be able to drive in go across and then back up so basically it needs to be this is the right width and then we're one out from there and this is one out here And then I guess I just double that, right? So you drive in, you turn, then you go backwards, and then you're facing forwards again. So this is, I'm looking for the internal size, which is duh, 34. So we need another 34 internal. And then we can just say that's all floor space. And then I think I'll do the walls like the exterior you know like outside of the 34 and then there'll be an entrance on one side only this thing is 13 but i think my entrance should be wider maybe 17 how big is that that's pretty good pretty good but i think i will want oh hold on i will want some walking space down the sides three is probably okay i should be doing this in symmetry let's go an extra two um just in case and i'll shave it off if i need to so there's walking space on both sides space in the middle for the arv to turn around and then there'll just be a wall at the back here there's only one entrance so that comes across and this comes across so I guess I'll, I'll give myself a line of something to say this is the door and we'll swap to another color I'll go with orange so I know that I'm still dealing with the outside because this is inside and then probably let's say like 11 or 9 nine i just want a little walking area out the back here there won't be any sides anywhere this is so wide this is so wide this is a rail so i think what i'll do is i'll cut out the bottom here anywhere it's like this is a rail anywhere it's a solid piece it's a solid wall and then when it's down low like this it just means it's a separator in the room Very good, very good. It's so big. This is stupid. I need to give myself a lot of space here though. Let's put a ramp down so I can actually drive into this and test it. I might even swap over to creative just to get this built. What do I call this? Can I call it question mark? I can't use the question mark symbol. So how easy is this? I guess I can turn out for this kind of stuff. Oh, but now I can't see anything. 
I need like cameras on the side or something. But it fits. That's good. I might widen the door by another two, two blocks. And then I need rear wheel steering, I think, for this. So yeah. Oh yeah, it doesn't need to be as wide then, does it? No way. And the idea would be that this can back up. It probably needs to be as long, but not as wide. And then the parking space would be like that. And it would be parked here. And yes, I know, I have not told you what I'm doing. But it'll all make sense. So, it doesn't need to be as wide. I can probably chop the walls off back to here. And then still have the walking space on both sides. And this length is good. Should be fine. So I'm going to bring it back to that one. Chop off the side. And then expand the doorway. So one, two, three, walking space. Plus where my like pipe or whatever will connect into. Then that was 17. So it will be 19. Okay, so we're a bit narrower, which is good. I don't want to be too wide. And it'll need to be quite tall because it's going to be covered. And I guess I need to go full width, which means I need to get the rear loading ramp. I kind of want to wedge in a bit at the back, but it'll mean cutting into this sort of space on the sides. I think the first thing I'll need to do is get my, we'll build the reloading ramp. I'll just build the loading ramp. So for this, I can use hinges or robotic pivots. I'm not sure which is going to be best for this. I think I'll go with pivots first. And then all this piece can become part of the ramp. So this starts open. And I'm not sure how long this needs to be. That's 20, that's 23 to that section. And then it goes down. So what will happen is there'll be a railing that goes across it. And I worked this out that it would need to be like below it, I think. And so this will fold up. This will fold up. Does it need to cut out this piece? So going straight down, we've got one, two, so I need another 21. Let me get some levers. Ramp number one. Ramp number one can go probably not all the way, but between one and negative one, and it'll it'll probably be let's see, point five or something. One and negative point five. And then ramp two can only go no, ramp two can go all the way as well. Is there a record on the zone? Okay. Perfect. And so what we end up with is... Um, hold on. A loading ramp that can go up and down. So it folds up real nicely on the back. And then when we need to extend, I guess one of them's got to extend first. Oh, wait, why is it doing that? Why is it going the whole way? Ta-da! And then you should be able to just drive up that. Perfect. <laughs> That's so dumb. Um, so this one comes up. This one goes down. 
yeah, and then it folds away. But that's that's the basic design. And then there's yeah, a little walking space out the back. So then, moving on. That means I now know how far I can bring it back in the build zone. And this is basically the bottom floor. I think I'm just going to have to run this the whole way to the end of the build zone to see what I'm working with, get the shape. Does that look good? It's very orange, isn't it? Um, and we need to know how tall the ARV is. If that is going in the back here, and that will determine a lot of roof sizes, I guess, or all the roof heights. I want it to like not have any problems with the antenna, but it's probably going to. So we've got 18. Shush. This is huge. The taller it is, the more compatible it is. So the front will have to be engine room, which is okay. I'm just going to sort of like let the antenna clip through because I don't think there's much point in trying to work around that. So how tall is this? That's eight. That's nine. Crazy. So there's two whole floors there. Now the back section is actually going to be a helipad and so then there'll be another floor on top of this so I'll go up nine because I like nine high and then that probably only goes to there it's not a very tall back section but I might be able to make it longer it doesn't need to be longer and then this will slope down probably to only a single floor I guess or this one actually would be good and then this will just go straight off straight down whoop and then on the sides we need to come up one two three four five and then it goes up Hmm, really? Hmm. Hmm. I wonder if I can do like a nice slope. A nice slope. Oh, I should do three of these and then go into this one. Is that, is that a nice slope? A bit crap, isn't it? Do, 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 do. It'd be good to set the height of the floor here, which would be eight, I guess, or yeah, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then start sloping it off that one. So there's like this piece of protection. And then we come back. Uh, two, maybe two. And then we go up. I don't know if this is really what I want. I might change this. I don't like this. I don't like these wedges. Get rid of all this. One, two, three, four, five, eight. Then we come back. Probably three of these. Yeah. And then go up a couple. Oh, I wonder if I should go up heaps. Hmm. Is that any better? Doesn't really look any better. I don't like this. This is um not what I had hoped. Go back. Go back. I will take the wedge. Um, I don't really want to be adding high walls right now. Let us know that this is a wall. And that 
this is a wall. Okay. I wonder if I need to like tilt the tilt the sides in. So that's good. That's the general shape. I'm gonna bring this wedge back so that it lines up with here. There we go. Oh, apparently not in the middle. Oh, very good, very good. Now, the real trick, the real trick. I can probably drop the engine into this floor a bit. I want to do something that's kind of like a yacht. A yacht. And has the kind of wedging down at the back. Yeah, that'll look cool. But I want this, I want a staircase in it, so I don't know how aggressive this wedge should be. Like, should it be that? And then that will, that doesn't look too bad, actually. But it has to come back for where the ramp is, because you basically want the ramp to be flat. What's more important, this particular ramp or getting the wedges in the right place? I would argue getting the wedges in the right place. You don't need to go too far down, so that's good. I don't know how tall this part needs to be. I should probably just make it the same as whatever this is. I think it was 20 something. 19. Let us go. 19. And then that is the bottom. Ooh, somewhere over here. Easy. And now this gets split into three sections. And I'm actually going to have to put some wall in here for now. Right, so now I know where like the back is. Probably need to square it off. And I know where the front is. I wonder if I need to like pull this square, you know? Do you know what I mean? Not like that. I want to go the other way. How do I go the other way? This one? You don't see people doing this. Do I want to... <laughs> Actually, that's kind of cool. Not really helpful for what I'm doing, but it does look kind of cool. And then I can probably get rid of that and then wedge the bottom. Uh, this is not at all what I had been thinking. <laughs> okay, let me save that. And then in the same file, I'm actually going to build... So this is uh, like a catamaran style thing and i'm gonna build the dual hull segments in the middle so that i can really just do one side of it and then just copy paste and flip it what i wanted was to have a very steep angle on the front and it needs to be wide enough to put a track inside not that kind of track this kind of track do i want to go with huge wheels probably i actually don't want to do huge wheels but looking at the scale now if i went with mediums or large this is what i had thought oh ooh. it is very big though isn't it it probably needs the large one probably so basically i need like a wall on one side so that i can attach the Tank wheels. So I guess we'll be going big ones. I guess that's how it's working out. So this is backwards, technically. Uh, I'll give it... I don't know how much space I need, really. Yeah, that's what I wanted. And then this thing 
Is that even? Oh, it is. Let's give it quite an aggressive. Oh, does that even work? No, it won't. I'll have to do it as a one. A one wedge. Yes. That's okay. The alternative is to like slowly bring it around or swap over to twos, one by twos. But I think I want that one by four. It's just very steep. Very steep. I wonder does this say how much money it costs? Currently, ninety thousand dollars. But the ARV is on the back. And that's like a forty thousand dollar vehicle, I think. So then that is what's going on the front, which will mean that the front section will probably change quite a lot. And then what I do is I'm gonna come through here and find out sort of where Okay. Can I actually just clip into it? That seems to be the top there. Oh no, okay, I need to go up one higher. Um hmm. yeah, that'll do. I don't actually hear what's what it looks like down here, because it can all be wedged and made to look okay. As long as it's got a hole in the bottom. And then this is like a this is the buoyancy, I guess. Chuck a, a little hat on it. So now this is a buoyant, floaty, drivey machine. And this will go on the right hand side, and then it'll flip it and go on the left hand side. And this is going to be tracks the whole way along the side. And it's going to be fast and maneuverable. I'm not doing silly tank steering. I don't, don't want to deal with that. Get rid of this. So this is absolutely not going to work. Cut this. Oh, I forgot a piece. And that goes in line with the very edge. Should I drop it down even more? Or should we just accept that it's a bit short? Or I will um, bring it down and then create sort of like a, a thing above to help merge the two shapes together. I'll do one entire side. I should probably do the other side to be honest because the way that everything spawns is like its default orientation is on the other side. Do the wheels cost more or less? This is $450. This is $350. So it makes sense to only have one driving wheel and then use all the non-driving wheel for the rest of them saving that money we can probably count how many there are i don't know if this front section actually needs to be driven one two three four five six let's go seven seven's a nice number wall that up you'll never know this the, the more i do this the more it seems like a dumb idea now i need a kind of a solid section in the middle and so this rear piece is going to have to get a little bit angled I don't know what I'm going to do about this bottom segment, if this is even going to work. So this needs to, no, 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 don't do that, don't do that, that does not, this needs to be part of that. So I need to cut out this, uh, I might do this bit in symmetry. This is going to be sort of the main propulsion, main driving wheel area. I don't know how far along I can bring it. To meet up with this because as this thing rotates around is it going to impact that at all and the thing with that is be like it'll be where does it rotate from if it rotates from the back it's probably got less chance of hitting i mean that's actually probably a good gap i'll, I'll risk that we'll risk that and then i think i can just drop straight down maybe it has to come back actually back to here 
I had wanted it to go the whole way, so I might still do that, as in bring this this angle all the way down. This thing's so long. <laughs> Uh, I did not account for this. If this works, that'd be really cool. Trust me, it'll be sick. And then at the back, I need probably another seven wheels, I think. I think seven. Seven seems to be the number for now. Find out how many is seven from the back. Oh, and actually, I wanted the stairs. Nope, this is okay, because... I want the the kind of like yacht thing where you've got the the back angled up and you can put stairs along it but it should only be accessed while you're in the water and when you're in the land you're actually going to access it from the side i mean you could jump up but the idea is to access it from the side so we'll grab one of these chuck it at the back is it only just i'm gonna have to drop them all down aren't i it's only just poking through the bottom. So one, two, three, four, five. I need to cut all this as well, and I shouldn't be doing this imagery. Six, seven. Now this one is actually going to be a lot smaller. Or so the front one, the whole thing is going to rotate. This whole front section. Only the bottom part is going to rotate on the back. Because I've got the stairs and stuff which will be connected up there. And I think I do have to drop all these wheels down. Well, actually, let's um, spawn it and see where those wheels sit. Watch out, buddy. Is that enough? One block? Is one block enough? It probably is. It'll look really cool. So maybe I'll do one block. So yeah, can I... Nope. It's got to be one above this. So we'll just bring this up and start the wedge a bit sooner. Or a bit later, maybe. I'm going to get rid of this, because this is just uh, causing me hassle. And I'm going to curve the back off. Or maybe I'll add a little wedge onto here because then it will look the same as the other one. As the front section. So yeah, there's no buoyancy in this rear section. Cut and paste. And make sure that the wheels are going the right way. Yeah, they're going the right way. And then this one here, was it? It should come down here. And then, what does that look like? One subgrid, one subgrid, and then the main body with all the wheels on it. The trick now is I want the, the entrance to be here. So I'm going to have to push it back and sacrifice some tracks, I think. Probably I'll just cut it in the middle, I think. So there's like a segment of tracks here. And then we have stairs. And then we have a little a platform, which is one, two, three, four, five. Six, seven, eight, nine. All of this can now go. Anywhere that's possible for me to use a physics flutter, I think I'm going to. This is going to be very optimized. This is going to be as optimized as possible. And so now what we have is this staircase that runs all the way up inside the track, basically. And pops out, and we're now on the boat. Oh, is it a boat? 
I guess it's a boat. It's a type of boat. And there's a wall there, and then there will be a door. A door of some kind. I was going to have like this door, but I might be able to get a nicer door. So yeah, imagine it's on the land. I have thought maybe there'd be like a step or something that folds out. Maybe it could like rotate out from the side of that. Also, that's going to be a stupid problem. Hmm. I might have to put those wheels on another subgrid. They shouldn't be trying to go through the wall. That's the problem. And then this is where the water staircase will go to. Because this is going to be quite deep in the water, I think. Yeah, it's going to sit pretty deep. I don't see how it would float super well. Um, but this doesn't need to be like this. It's going to be wedged. We get a robotic pivot. I will take a power pivot because I need to send power down. And we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I can use the middle wheel. And it's all nice and in the middle. I don't know which way this pivot needs to go. And I'm not sure if I want this front section to pivot from the middle. Or from like the back or the front because it might look better well now I'll put it in the middle because yeah I don't know Ta-da! let's grab a seat I guess Now if I turn, whoop, <laughs> wow, those tracks are messed up. Uh, so the front one's fine, the back one's backwards. Whoop, and that is how we're going to drive on the land. It doesn't, it's not going to need to turn that much, and I might even reduce the rear section back to maybe only like five wheels. The front one looks good. So the, the reason the front one is big is because I may have to get rid of this may have to cut out a reasonably large section which means all of this needs to like potentially be on an angle so what I'd have to do is like bring it back to there or here actually I'm preempting this being a problem, so I'll just build it in now, and then if it's not a problem, uh, the problem I'm talking about is hitting things, hitting like lumps and hills and stuff. This thing is not going to be going that far on land, so it's not, you know, it's not the biggest concern in the world. Yeah, but that's right. So then the the wheel has a little bit to stick out and I might even need to chop off this bottom piece um, bring it back with a two maybe and then maybe a one really curve it in yeah so it follows the track it'd be cool if I didn't need this but I may need it just so I don't 
you're really stuck. So yeah, now the track, if I drive into a bump or something, the track will be able to work its way over whatever I've driven into. It's not good that I can see where the wheel connects though. I might have to make that too wide on, I might have to widen the whole track system. Oh, that's not good. Yeah, actually if I widen the system then it won't matter if it's freaking out like that, you won't see it. That might be a good solution. Now then, I think I will need some buoyancy or something below here. Like maybe for fuel tank or something of the sort. So I'm thinking, do I do like a wedge and then go across? Like that, but not, not that long, I guess. The more of this area I make, the more buoyant I'm going to be. So it's probably worth investing more space down here. Uh, I guess if it's enough for a crawl space, I should go one more. One more, because then it will be three. That'll make it very, very, very much more very useful. It is deviating a little bit from the design, but what are you going to do? So there'll be motors on every, or there'll be power connected to every wheel that can do power. Motor, it'll be a big diesel engine or maybe even nuclear. I don't really know what's going on with steam. Like it feels like they've finished doing whatever they were doing with it and they're not really addressing it anymore. Yeah, it feels like maybe they're not going to revisit Steam and make it any better. Some people seem to be getting okay, getting okay results with how it is now, but um, yeah, I have no idea how to do it. Here we go. That ramp on the back, wait, let me fix that ramp. What's, what's banging around? I think it's the ramp, gotta be the ramp. Yeah, it's the ramp. Why is it doing this? What's going on? It's like I ran over something. Did I run over something? There we go. Amphibious, remember? Everything's gotta be amphibious. Seems like it wants to fly though. Because it's like one continuous track, uh, there shouldn't be any major lumps that really stop it and the steering isn't going to have to be that much like it's not going to have to go the whole way to turn it, because it's got steering at the front and back and like it's trying to fly at the moment so if the wheels if the tracks were actually on the ground they would be able to turn it this is going pretty quick isn't it for its size it's going fast enough that it wants to fly i don't want it to fly how did i get damaged if vehicle damage no wait vehicle damage is on vehicle damage is on and we've been driving i've driven from 
$30 train yard, nearly all the way to FJ Warner with no vehicle damage, the only damage being the ramp that was already like in the ground when I started driving. So that's a good sign that it will actually be able to drive on land. It's like a ground effect vehicle. Look how big it is. Oh, okay. Don't jump off things. Noted. <laughs> Look how big it is though, compared to this hangar. I don't know why it's bouncing. Is there like a suspension or something that can go in the tank tracks? Or like a stiffness or something to stop it from bouncing? But here's the other thing about this. So, like the, the back section where I wanted to drive the ARV in is quite big for one vehicle. So, if we just drive over a container and let's say we had a, a door in the floor and a gantry crane, we could then pick up containers directly into this thing. And I know that it can fit basically three ARVs side by side and three, and it can fit six, right? Three across and two deep. So I should be able to fit five containers plus the ARV and then still have space for my engine and my bridge and living and equipment and everything. And once it's all sealed up, then it should be very buoyant. The problem is stopping it from bouncing right now. It might get better as it gets heavier though. It could be just because the track segments are too heavy or something. But I will figure that out if I need to. I can put a lot of the tracks on sliders and I can slide them down and have the have the actual track go up and down as suspension. And that is the idea, it goes into the water and not very buoyant at the moment, but I can make it float. And that's really good, everything's not fitting nicely together, you know, like the ramp size is good, the ramp rotation is surprisingly good the space that i've got inside for the arv and for containers to go in is really nice i could even expand it like i don't know how big my engine is going to be or how much space i need for anything else but yep that's good very good proof of concept and a good skeleton to be starting with if you've got any suggestions let me know and i'll just carry on building Thanks for watching. See you later.